Hello and welcome back to Chosen Few, the one and only place for you. This is Ian Santine, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new save application, actually the first ever save application, named Oscillaview. Now this actually is in very, very early development stages. I literally wrote this up like between yesterday and today. And I thought it was really gosh darn cool and wanted to show y'all how it works. So I'm just loading up a video file here and let's go ahead and give it a play to, I'm gonna hide this for now. Let's give it a play to see what we're dealing with here. So we don't get a real time update. It's not playing back at full speed as you can see by this second counter not moving at one second per second. But I'm going to do something a little interesting. Let's go ahead and pause it right here. And I'm going to do something goofy. I'm going to make a big white rectangle like this. Now you may be asking me, why, sir, are you making a big white rectangle? There is a reason for it. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Voila! There is graphs. Graphs galore. You may be asking me in this moment, what the hell am I looking at, Ian? This just looks like visual garbage. Well, to you, a layman, it may. But let's go ahead and see what happens as we skip back and play this again. Pay close attention to the peaks of these wavy bits. They die down, they flatten out at the bottom, right? Pretty interesting. You may be asking, why is that? Well, it's because what you are looking at is an NTSC modulated signal being modulated on the fly according to what is on this screen. I will explain why the wavy bits are wavy in a bit, but first, I just want you to focus on this concept of luminance. Let's go ahead and skip it back to the beginning. All right, so let's talk about luminance. So I'm actually going to get a couple of bits in here. Uh, let's drag over here. Perfect. So check this out. Ignore those top two lines. So we have a low part here at the very top of our oscilloscope view, which corresponds to the very top of our rectangle. We have a low half of the signal and a high half. This low bit represents black and this high bit represents white. As you can see right here, we have the rectangle split right down the middle, this top part of it. We have black on the left, white on the right, low on the left, high on the right. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check out this part of the image right here. So now we have a flat high part and then a wavy high part. Yellow is a bright color, luminance wise. So it is high, but these wavy bits mean that it's colored. It means that there is some saturation present in the signal at that moment in time. And as you can see here in this lower bit, we have a low wavy bit corresponding to dark blue and then a low flat bit corresponding to black. 
So if we um, navigate through this image now, moving it from left to right, we can notice all the different aspects of it in real time. Isn't this sick? Oh my god. I still can't get over this. This is so neat. So yeah, this is a semi-real-time video NTSC video oscilloscope made purely with software. There is no analog hardware going on here whatsoever. Purely software-based. Amazing. So, let me show you a cool trick I can do with the wavy bits now. So I'm going to drag over around four of these bars, place it like this, and we're just going to watch the video play through. It's going to be a solid 20 seconds, so please be patient. So we see the signal die down. This is the luminance being lowered, and then it will be raised again. So you can see it all flats out. Then we see it increase again, scaling from the bottom back up to the original strength. And next, we will see the image get more and more desaturated. Notice how the wavy bits stay at their height, their relative heights, but the wavy bits get more and more squished and then right here they're getting grown out again as the saturation increases just like you would see on a real oscilloscope if you were looking at a certain line bit and now we see some hue changes going on on the left and on the right you can notice the signal the wavy bits are experiencing many curious changes. This is the least intuitive bit to explain, so I will leave some material in the description for those who are interested, but just know that the differences in how they are wavy determines what color the part that part of the image is. Each of these individual line graphs corresponds to one pixel height line on our image. There are 525 lines in this image vertically, and there are 630 visible horizontal bits to the signal. And essentially, this is just a graph of that, or actually a portion of the image, based off of what we select in this rectangle. Neat stuff. Oh yeah, also, I can shrink and grow this rectangle on demand, so I can essentially zoom in and zoom out on the oscilloscope view. Pretty neat. So let's go ahead and look at something less abstract. Nice, nice, nice. Here we have Super Mar or Mario Kart 64. So you can see we can very clearly see the 64 as we drag this around in the oscilloscope view. Actually, make, let me skip back there. You can see the differences in the luminance on this checkered flag bit. Look at that. Amazing. And here you can notice the text reappearing and disappearing. Let me go ahead and skip back up there. So there you have your push start appearing and disappearing. And we can even see Mario's head a little bit. <laughs> Pretty neat. So let's go ahead and skip over into some gameplay.
So here we have Mario. We can see his hat and Lakitu. We can see that part of the light lighting up. And now, if we go over here at this bottom corner, we can very clearly see this first indicator. Let me zoom out of it and zoom back in just so that the shape becomes apparent. And let me go ahead and drag over this Mario icon here. Look at this. <laughs> you can actually see Mario's eye there. So yeah, that is essentially all that I have to show you guys for now. I'm glad you guys gave it a watch if you've stuck around this far. Um, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the Chosen Few Software channel. I know y'all are already subscribed to my main channel, but please also subscribe to Chosen Few Software if you're interested in my coding projects because I'll likely upload many more updates to save and possibly more in the future to this channel. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.